and tonight it's time for the follow-up. So, in the last video I received some suggestions as to how to go about the experiment. A little more uh, scientifically, maybe a little more proper like. So, what we're going to do this time is use two pieces of foil. Now let's zoom back a little bit. We're going to use two pieces of foil here. And that's going to be our control there. Also, we're going to use a much less reflective surface. Apparently, the plastic was able to deflect light from a street light or something, some ridiculous crap like that, I was told. So, let's go ahead and get calibrated. So, I'm just going to pause it right here for a second. I've had a few people actually respond saying that the aluminum is a reflective surface and that the laser's firing off into the atmosphere and that's what made it all cold. <laughs> okay, fine. So tell me, while I'm sitting here shooting the tea kettle and it's 193 degrees, are you saying that the laser's reflecting off of the tea kettle and something else inside my van is 193 degrees? Yeah, I don't think so. Go ahead and put that in your pipe and smoke it, Mick. Here's the pot. There's the fire. Colder surface. 62. Colder surface. Pot. Fire. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn this off before this thing starts whistling again. Okay. So, now let's uh, go ahead and test these pieces of aluminum foil. First here we're going we have our side that's going to be in the moonlight directly. We're at 14 degrees here on that one and on this one 18. 17? Sure. Once again 17 17 even. And there's the moon. Back down. And there's the foil. Now, let's go ahead. Now, what's being used here for artificial shade is a small folding stool, a styling cape, uh, the little black silky styling cape from a barber shop. Thanks for letting me borrow that, Ebony. And a towel. Uh, I needed a little weight. It was a little windy, so I needed to use the towel, also non-reflective, to hold it down and grab our non-reflective surface. We're going to set this right up right here. Block out that moonlight. Shouldn't be reflecting off of this. Now should it? Alright, so let's get in closer because someone commented about the distance. <sighs> nice and close. So, first in the shade or in the actual moonlight we well, yeah, at 14 degrees it's about where it was last time yes now very closely in the shade 59 moonlight direct 15 back in the shade 59 now <laughs> Remove this artificial shade. Let the aluminum calibrate. Adjust temperature and all that. Now, let's see. Direct moonlight for both of them. 16 here. 14 there. Now, just so we don't say it's reflecting, let's get right over these things. So, right here, 14. Straight on. Straight on. Nineteen. Seventeen. Sure. Nine degrees there. Eight degrees. What is that? And we're right back over here in the low teens. 
Now we move our artificial shade back over one more time. Get in nice and close. Moonlight direct. There again, nice and close. And in the shade, 58. Well, just wondering what we're going to have to say about that. And now, special audience, you understand Mr. Mick West is probably watching. How you doing, Mick? Quick message for you. The community is getting organized. We're unifying. The truth is spreading faster than it ever has before. And it's only a matter of time before your little pathetic ball earth model falls apart. It's only a matter of time, kid. Metabunk this.